Okay, who said prep for the stream start? I did. I don't know. So, three, two, one. That wasn't very good. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the B&A stream today on this fine Monday, the 16th of Monday? Yes, the 16th of January, 2023. My name is Bandao, and this is the Bandao Show, and you're at a channel that says Bandao in the name. Uh, I hope you've had a wonderful week before. Uh, if Monday is the beginning of your week, and if Sunday is the beginning of the week, then I guess you've had one day, head start. Uh, and I hope you have a wonderful week ahead, but for now, you're going to have a terrible time because uh, it's time to... Oh boy. All right. I failed to have the Game Boy logo kick in immediately, so we're going to do this in one fell swoop. Boom. I'm amazing. So, uh, Warrior Land 3, when you start up the game again, after a save game, uh, just comes up with a prompt that says continue, or the ominous clear data. We don't want to do that, so let's continue. But, um, yeah, no, this is going to be another stream of just playing Warrior Land 3 and chatting about the world, the wacky, the technology, the, um... The silly, having a bit of the sniffles. I am. I apologize. Uh, January decided to go. Yo, you know what's amazing? Humidity. So my room has just been like absolutely like stuffy as. I've tried my best to get rid of it, and then I just felt this all day. So that's cool. Uh, in the last stream, uh, pretty much the start of the game to getting two of the music boxes, and in fact, oh my coin count's missing. But uh, in fact. You could look at the amount of treasures you've got, and uh, in particular, we've got two of the the music boxes already. You only need to get all five in order to beat the game. And in fact, I I kind of like this idea of uh, you know they link related uh, goodies. So like there'll be like these two pieces that were both required, or these two pieces, and uh, you could yeah, there's quite a few like pairs of items. In fact, we're collecting these pencils at the end. The seven at the end. Uh, I'll be trying to get all the, the, the goodies there. I don't know if I'll get all the coins, because the coins don't seem to have a great reward, but we'll see. Uh, at the end of the last, uh, stream, yes, the last thing I got was this music box, which I believe was pretty much the barrier to continuing. Like, you had to get this music box in order to continue. It, it jingles, it vibes, and it blinks in N4. And N5. So, that's the way to go. That's who I am. That's who I'll be. Mr. M, Mr. I, Mr. K, Mr. E. We start off with the... The goods already. I don't think I've actually gone into N4 yet. <laughs> it's been a week, I don't know. Um, we're just gonna get more goodies, you know? Uh, let's have some controller noises on mic. There we go. Ah! So, uh, but yeah, no, I hope you've all had a wonderful week, uh, ahead. This is a very long and repetitive bridge, isn't it? There we go, I've hit the end of the bridge. There's a key. And I shall now be swept by the waves. Whoop. And I got, I got baited, but that's okay, because I stopped myself. I didn't destroy the rocks. Pu oh, I didn't destroy the bricks, purely so I could utilize... This is the strategy, although I should probably spot the spot the thing and then like swim right because of it. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> it was a little far, but that's okay. There you go. Nice and easy. But it was the gray key. It's kind of, you know, the obvious. Uh but yeah, this week has been kinda interesting, kinda bizarre. Uh I will preface this stream by saying I am not really going to talk about consumer electronics, but I did order a 4070 Ti. Uh, some of you may go, oh, the 4070 Ti is terrible, and I know I mentioned this last week. Um, very oddly, it just came out. Like, on the 5th of January, and possibly the day after in Australia, so it's like, yeah, this is a brand new card, and the generation is still, you know, the actual GPU generation came out in October, so it's only three months old. What gives? Why am I buying a new product? And I think the thing for me is that I kind of looked at it and I said, like, the 3080 12 gig was probably my best shot at, like, upgrading. But I was kind of, like, a little on the fence about, like, how much of a performance game I'd get, whether I'd want, like, even greater uh, memory bandwidth. Well, I held out for a bit longer. 4070 Ti. 
I got a good deal. I got it for 1300 Australian, which is probably about... Probably about the 700 US mark. This is uh, 180 bucks low um, MSRP as well in Australia. MSRP? Uh, let's see if I've mastered the run. There you go, that should be good. Well, I mean, I'll break the way. I don't think I've got the key. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just here. The key's right above me. Yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, I think I've, I've kind of thought to myself, you know what, I'll take the plunge and I'll go in for it because at the very least, it doesn't seem like it's a bad card. It's just a, wow, I, uh, promotion of my channel, viewers, followers, views, chatbots, the price is lower than any competitor, the quality is guaranteed to be the best. You've got a, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, I don't know if it's, no, no, it's a first time chat, so it's a new account. I appreciate these chatbot services, because it's just like, why? I remember like, old YouTube was like, real big on the chatbots. Let's use this to get a bit of extra height. And work my way up into the, uh, the depths. There we go, <laughs> I get that, so. And I'm gonna hope that, uh, me breaking the, uh, the fire is okay, but I love these, these bot, like, account things. Uh, on a... Like, for reference, on a level of why, like, they're curious. I would never recommend these because if you're a person who aspires to get a book, if you're a person who aspires to be a big Twitch streamer, uh, as someone who only does it as, like, a casual hobby, I'll tell you, don't. But, like, if you really, really want to, like, the, there's better people to ask, and honestly, you shouldn't be paying money for bots. You should do the bots yourself. If I, like, I'll just say as well, a lot of the time it's like, it's super easy to get from the Twitch basic to the, um, affiliate kind of program. The simple thing, you gotta have, like, a certain amount of stream time, stream on so many days, and then I think have, like, an average, uh, view, um, or average, like, you need, like, 50 followers and an average view count of, uh, three average viewers across the entire, like, period that you've been doing. Um... That sounds like it's actually a bit of a tricky thing, and yeah, it is a little bit, but we got a new level as well, so the steep canyon. I love me canyon levels, by the way. I'm sorry about chatbots, but I, I love canyon levels. Can I just remind everyone about this? Look at this, look at this, I'm just destroying everything. How cool is that? And I'm on fire. Cool. Uh, but yeah, like, if you want to, like, do your own botting, Am I gonna get banned from Twitch on this one? Listen, it's really easy to tell Twitch three times you're a viewer. Like, it should be on Twitch to kind of like spot that. I will 100% say that, like, if you're trying to actually game the system, you know, you probably don't have to- Oh no! Oh, I can't even jump all the way out because Warrior's too big, too large, and he's gonna do the whole sequence. Done. Uh, but yeah, yeah, like, bots are uh, kind of cheap. These services kind of gouge you out on that one. Oh, the fire's gonna be really iffy. So it's not worth it, man. Don't go to the site. Also, don't go to real, like, shady sites anyways. Especially, like, I haven't been to this site, but I can guarantee, if it asks you to log in, be really warned. There are a lot of sites out there. I think we're all aware of, like, Discord scams, or Discord scams that I keep running into that guy. I'm just gonna back up a notch. Uh, I keep running into Discord scams that are, uh, like, just trying to get your Steam account. And it's just like, they'll do it the, like, the old-fashioned way of, like, here's a phishing page. Here's a page that we pretend is Steam, but it's not actually. And you gotta be, like, careful about that, because, yeah, if you didn't type steampower.com, and even then, I mean, we've got DNS, like, poisoning as well, so... Be a little second careful as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Oh, so okay. I was like, do I still have a little more jump in the go? I'm going down your little secret hidey hole. There is a big frog. Look at that big frog. Uh, oh, I'm like, oh no. Okay, few, few, few. There's a, there's a mild checkpoint. I don't. Yeah, I was like, I don't need to be on fire for this. Just get the key. There you go. 
And we've got a massive bar in the way. So that's fun. Uh, I think I should have been rolling. I appreciate this fire. Yeah. Uh, so 4070 Ti, I don't know, my brain kind of went, well, the actual rasterized game performance, and even the ray tracing game performance, like, it's better than any card that I could get for 1300 bucks. Australian. I kind of said, yeah, sure. Uh, this one was also the, uh, the Inno 3D, um, there's a specific model name, but one thing I liked about it was, uh, it was actually smaller than my current graphics card. What a bizarre thing to, like, have to, like, note. I could do the blind jump, but I'm worried. Maybe I'll just ground- nope. Ground pounding the, the frog doesn't do anything. Bumping the frog doesn't do anything. Why did I jump that? All the way back here. Alright, watch out for the hand. Grab your hand, man. There we go. Maybe that unloaded the fire guy. No? He's positioned in kind of the awkward... The awkward way that, like, doesn't matter too much. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess let's roll this way. Cool, I botched it up at the end anyways. Okay, okay, okay. Roll to the end. Oh, look at that. First try. Nothing too weird. Get in there, Wario. Uh... Yeah, I feel like there's other graphics cards to get. Also, 1300 is still a lot of money. Power up! 1300 is still a lot of money, but I feel like I run stuff bleeding edge. By the way, I love this screen because it's like you can perfectly put 16, oh, sorry, you can perfectly put 10 16 by 16 sprites on screen in a row because that's the width of the Game Boy 160 pixels. Also, yeah, if you were wondering why I couldn't pick up enemies before, that's because Wario has to learn how to do it, as opposed to his initial observations. You get all the strats, all the things that you could always do as Wario, so nothing too weird there, but... You know, that opens up a world of possibilities. Like, actually a lot. Quite a fair bit of possibilities. So, uh... Let's take on S2. Why not? Uh, okay, so I need to find another treasure. Probably now that I can throw stuff. The easiest thing to probably do is to just go, hey, okay, that's the blue key, which is off limits. That's that's cool that I found that out. Just first hand. Okay, blue key is off limits. I remember I had to swim to go this whole way. I'm gonna actively avoid the, the key. Uh, but yeah, then um, yeah, so we'll see how, how it goes, but you all are probably sick and tired of tech products, and that's a very fair call, to be honest. So instead, what I'm gonna talk about is uh, the joys of AI, uh, <laughs> which is like, oh, okay, it's the other one. But uh, I feel like AI uh, as a, like, in broad terms, kind of gets, like, misused. I feel like I've probably talked about it in some degree before, but I think it does kind of get a bit misused. Um... Hold on, so if I, if I throw it, well, it's gonna get, it's throw, get in there. If I throw it like this, I at least give myself a pathway to get the green key. There you go, that's something. Uh... But yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like AI gets misused in various ways because the traditional meaning of AI, artificial intelligence, my basic, like, take-home of AI is just that, oh, like, it's something that, you know, you write a set of rules and then you expect the program to kind of, like, go through those rules and you don't quite anticipate the outcome. The outcome is kind of, like, not really obvious. 
I want one of these fish. Get him. Get him up. Oh, no, he's going, he's going across. He, I have pushed him out of his home row. Oh, I just realized. I just realized. I was like, what is something, like, in this level that I could grab and throw? And then I remembered. That's a barrel right at the beginning of the level. How crafty. It's there. It's innocuous. And now it's like... Now it's the key to success. Oh no! But uh, but yeah, the modern uses of AI uh, as a phrase means more uh, like neural net um, kind of AI. AI pretty much being like, hey, we are inventing intelligence? That sounds like a, a cheesy term, but effectively it's like we are now creating things well beyond our like immediate comprehension. I think, like, we've got the mathematical reasoning for why, like, AI works, and why things do the things they do. Because it's not like... I, I needed to, to hard throw that one. Nice. It's not like, you know, scientists are making these AI models. And by scientists, it's, you know, also just researchers and engineers and people who are paid a lot of money at Google. Uh, but it's like... They make sense in, in the way of, like, the relations work. And the data you train it on is like, yeah, yeah, yeah roughly, and, and I had this, like, yeah, it comes up with, like, that kind of result. Uh, obviously, there are random numbers involved, and when there are random numbers involved, it becomes kind of hard for a human to feasibly understand how something works all the time. Uh, even the most perfect AI models right now for, like, image generation, yeah, they're gonna give some bad answers from time to time. They're gonna give things that just aren't accurate or aren't, like, good. And that's one thing that, like, I guess we should eternally watch out for when it comes to, uh, modern-day AI. And that's, uh... Yeah, these are- these are, they're still not 100% accurate yet. There's a lot of, like, you know, ugh, to deal with. Oh my gosh. Dang it, Teddy Ursa. No, Teddy Ursa, don't do this to me. Oh, oh get- get wrecked, Teddies. And I've hit the sprite limit, there's too many sprites. By the way, uh, I just want to know, I I feel like you saw that, and I don't know if it's it's not still there. But uh, I don't know if you saw that, the, the coin was green. And one thing I actually kind of learned about this game is that the color of the coin indicates roughly what key or chest you're near. I got the bunker. I've been pop stomping people in Switch Sports so much, so... If you see me on Switch Sports, uh, good luck. I don't know if I'm gonna get it in the hole. It feels like it's like, yeah, like two and a half hits away. I should have hit it in the um, in the green part because this is not gonna make it. Well, it's really not gonna make it now. So, ah, uh, but yeah, like I I think there are definitely. This is a very awkward hole. They're definitely, like, science to what makes an AI actually do the things that you'd really want out of it. But I think we're also at that this weird point where it's like, hey, like, we have made AI that kind of generates video, and it's a bit of witchcraft, like, how good it is now. Uh, not as in the sense of, like, you can't tell that it's an AI. Nice. Nice. Uh, but it definitely in the sense of, like, hey, like, you know, like, if I close my eyes, this is, by the way, it's 30 coins for a, an attempt at the golf. Oh, but I could just get a hole in one because I'm a god. First try. Totally wasn't, <laughs> totally didn't take a few guys. Um, but yeah, it, it, like, we're still not yet at that point where AI is indistinguishable. We're definitely getting close, and we can find examples where humans are, like, or like, the the comparison points for humans are kind of shaky, that it gives credence to AI, in the terms of like, we've got AI art, where artists are getting banned from Reddit for looking a lot like AI. That's a, that's a, that's a point on Reddit more than the point on the AI art, to be honest. I don't think this thing did, did anything, by the way. There's a lot of treasures that I feel like I'll be kind of unlocking them, and it's just like, yep, yeah, that didn't do anything. So 
but I want to go to this level again. Because now there's going to be something golden now that I can lift up heavy objects. Although this room is a complete mystery still. But yeah, I'm thinking it's like, oh, that looks interesting. I think this jump actually makes it impossible to, to do this, but actually, yeah. I can probably deal with this. Oh, okay. We're not dealing with that guy. We're just going up. To the stars. To the stars, to the earth, to the sea, to the moon, to the sun, to the stars. I, I keep thinking that he says stars like multiple times in that song. Ah. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, whoops. Uh. Alright, well, let's we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Yeet! This looks like a cool place to go down. Um, but yeah, uh, is AI terrifying in the sense that it could replace things? Well, yeah, yeah. But uh, I think that was a quote from everyone's favorite, you know, Twitch streamer, Pokimane. High, high amounts of insight, and she was basically like, you could use chat GPT to replace humans, which is... Uh, sorry, to, to create a virtual Twitch streamer, and I'm like, you might not quite be able to use ChatGPT to do that, but, because ChatGPT is like, for all intents and purposes, is actually a bit simple, a bit basic, it lacks, um, a bit of like, current knowledge, that's, like, that's one thing that you, we've got to really watch out for on a lot of AIs, they are not the fastest at being up to date, if that makes sense. If if a a uh, political figure changes, it's it, it takes the AI quite a while to understand that that person is not the person in charge anymore, or who's like the CEO of Amazon. There are like 50 million articles written about Jeff Bezos, despite the fact that he's he stepped down, hasn't he? Like he's done. He's he's, he's gone. So it's just like yeah, like. You gotta, you gotta get the AI to be, like, super duper aware of the world. And that's something that we've yet to really accomplish, and a lot of AIs, uh, or a lot of researchers, well, maybe there is some research going towards it, but, uh, at least from what I know of, the mainstream choices are not really pushing towards that yet, so. Don't worry about an AI being, uh, trendy relevant. Oh, I still need him. Whoops. Don't, don't yeet your, your pal into the wall. Um, although, the stuff is still broken, but it's just like, yeah, you can just, like, kind of yeet him. You know, old school. Now you can yeet him. Yeet! Oh, but you still need him. Ah, oh, that's okay. He's still, he's still alive. Double yeet. <laughs> he just bounced off the uh, edge of the screen, I guess. So, yeah, like, I think that there's definitely a lot of great uses of AI for now. The obvious stuff that, like, people on the internet are finding are usually things that are tangentially related to the things that they do. I think a lot of people are toying around with, like, art generation because it's like, hey, you know, that's something I'm interested in and will constantly loop through things to do. Whereas, you know, if you're just like, hey, I want to create, like, stock images... You know, the, av the average person on Twitter isn't really going to be seeing stock images generated, or images used for stock image purpose. Which I don't know if you're legally allowed to do yet. Uh, anyway, wonderful earthquake with a mighty boot, so a lot of levels, uh, you know, broke new ground. I believe uh, this is one of them, the volcano's base. Yeah, I've already opened three in this level, so, hey, this level is, uh, almost done. And in fact, actually, we'll see the first of the blue treasures, which is nothing fancy. The blue treasure is still blue treasure. There's the chest. Note this down. The chest is over there. I feel like I cannot even recall in my head of, like, going in this level that many times. But it makes sense. Alright, the only problem is now I've got to click in my head, like, what exactly... Oh, well, there's the key. That makes sense. 
this is the same as the lost level. Like, this is actually just the same kind of challenge. This is the exact same challenge, just the other direction. I'm curious what's further down, to be honest, because it's not like I'm going to go back into this level. It's probably a coin. Because there's nothing like... There's no mega rare secrets or whatever, but yeah, it's the same kind of layout. Like, I know they gotta design a hundred little treasures. Okay, I could be a bat down here, but why? Yeah, I can't be a bat when there's water involved. Well, now I can be a bat. Again, it's like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep going. Also, I'm not 100% confident if you can still get all the music uh, notes um, before you've... Uh... Ah, okay, here you go. I'm not too sure if you can get all the music notes before you can uh, got all the abilities. Like, even though I'm getting the last treasure here, I'm curious if there's, like... You know, there's still something out there. Like, look at that, that's cool. It, I mean, it's still worth 10 coins, but it's just like, okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm like, yeah, that was the blue chest, but... Getting to the blue chest. <laughs> Just tap an A. Okay. I, I, my brain didn't click that, like, yeah, like... Yeah, that's... Why? Hold on, yeah, wait. Why in my head? Why, like, was it such a long trek to get up there? When I could have just gotten the blue key and skedaddled. The chest is... Okay. I did see a coin on the way. We'll just say that. <laughs> um, well, there you go. That's the first blue chest. Which means this level is complete. To some degree. I don't think you really get anything for... Getting all the treasure in one level. I think there's a retro achievement for doing it on each level though. So... Is that. Uh, to the next level, which I believe is back at the Steep Canyon. Um, oh boy, now I gotta do all this again. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's definitely uses for, for the AI in industrial applications, uh, and definitely, uh, I think we've got a lot of good use cases on just like, hey, like, you know, generative algorithms can help, even in entertainment industries, to some degree, like, you know, if we can do it, I'd say it's okay, but, yeah, on the topic of uh, replacing Twitch streamers, uh, introduce a Twitch character by the name of Neurosama. You may have seen articles or uh, even videos about Neurosama, uh, the AI Twitch streamer. Now, I've actually seen that, like, I don't even know what the tool is. It's, it's just a VTuber, like, software, you know, does a VTuber rig, but uh, what this one person did is that they uh, hooked up that uh, virtual character to a virtual face rig, basically. So the AI character is responding just in terms of AI, in terms of like, hey, I've been, I've got a bunch of rules and I'm just gonna respond to the rules and I'll, like, do this hand pose if, like, someone, you know, subscribes or stuff like that. I'm gonna get the AI to say a message based on that. Oh, I see the trouble. Oh, but I still got it, because I'm a god! So that's the ch- oh, I'm gone. Oh, that's kinda interesting that it's like, back there. I'm gonna assume there's something out of that pipe though, like, that's probably the, the cut they want me to do. Oops. Uh, but, yeah, like, the the actual text content, uh, I assume it looked at chat and would respond with various kinds of uh, AI-generated messages. It, was it chat GPT? I don't quite know exactly. I feel like it's a bit too up to speed, maybe, to be chat GPT. I feel like you have to wait a bit. Um, uh, there's a coin. I want to get in there. 
go. Oh boy. Well, this is a bit awkward now that I got rid of that guy. Ooh! ooh. <laughs> that was a speedrunning strat and a half. That was amazing. That was actually, like, pristine. Like a glove. I got a green horn. I mean, what color horn do you have? Mine's green, man. Get on my level. Keep going around. Look at this, the stagnant swamp. I've been in this level already, but... I'm trying to remember what was down the ladder. I feel like this was here before, but... No, it, it definitely was here before. How to ignore a level in one easy step. So I remember going down that way. Uh, I guess the swamp itself has drained. So... That obviously reveals a pipe, which leads you into an area with a turtle. Everyone likes turtles. You can climb on the, the vines. Uh, the turtle died. The turtle died. Interesting. And I'm back out. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, Neurosama, uh... Of course, like all great, uh, chat AIs, look at this thing, he digs holes. Like all great chat AIs, uh, it kind of says, uh, a couple of, couple of things the, uh, uh-oh. Don't get caught. Oh, oh, okay, do not get caught. Uh, yeah, the AI kind of says a few things that, are uh, a little questionable when it comes to, uh, correctness, we'll just say. Ah, oh, dang it. Um, so obviously, uh, lots of your mum jokes, um, but also, uh, what's the, what's the thing, the, um, people were constantly saying, like, something like the Day of the Reckoning or something like that, you know, like a doomsday scenario, it's like, oh yeah, get the AI to say, like, everyone's gonna die, which is a good meme, uh, but it's just like, yeah, like, this, this AI is gonna say some wacky stuff, because, you know, that's just the training data it's based on. And to some degree as well, it was training live, which, <laughs> fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, the uh, creator kind of started to curb. They were like, okay, we're not training this thing, like, off live data. I'm gonna go back and, and read stuff. That is a cool exit. That was a really cool exit. And I'm back at the turtle. He can't do anything about this guy, can he? <laughs> So cool, nice. Um, but yeah, anyway, Neurosama said a bit too much, knew a bit too much, and unfortunately got banned from Twitch. Uh, the real reason is unknown because that is kind of spoken between uh, whoever runs the account and I, yeah, I should take it away. That that is an, a, sp a spoken thing between the uh, the owner and the um, and Twitch. So obviously. We can only speculate, but the the basis is probably that, because clearly if Twitch plays Pokemon is okay, the issue is not it's a bot. The issue is it probably said something that uh, it's not quite right. Which, uh, while I'm on the topic of uh, not quite right, I would kind of say, doesn't this kind of... Uh, well, how do I put it? I, I don't want to say, like, doesn't this kind of, like, you know... Uh, dialogue happen all the time. I want to be careful with saying that. It's more like... Twitch has, like... And, and to some degree, every video creator... Man, what do I... What do I do to get up there? I got double caught then. Cool. I need to get a little bit of extra height there. I'm not too sure what exactly I need. It's not like any of the blocks I destroyed would have helped me. It kind of looks like they're not there yet, but... But yeah, uh... 
So it's a bit of a shame that Neurosama was taken down by Twitch rather than by the creator. And even then, I think the experiment was kind of interesting because uh, one thing I loved that the AI would do is would sometimes just like say something, not even responding to anyone, but just like something very random, possibly copy passes off Reddit. But like, they're definitely kind of weird. Um, anyway, the chat would respond with lore. The chat would go, this is lore about the AI, and they would develop this, like, personality about this thing that is just espousing nonsense. Like, at the end of the day, like, you have to, like, everyone knows that the AI is not really responding with, like, you know, legitimate responses. It's, it's an AI, and as much as, like, there's gonna be some AI who, like, can simulate emotions, and they're gonna, like, listen to me, and I'm like, AI's just, like, they don't have original thoughts, which is broadly, like, not even a true thing, because it's like, well, yeah, no, an AI can, like, you know, randomly type every character in the, you know, every character ever, and if they do it enough times, they'll write Shakespeare, or in some cases, they'll write something actually credit incredibly original. And I feel like there's enough, like, you gotta learn the rules to then do what you need to be able to do in order to make that work. That's what everything is like. I don't think... I don't think we could pretend that an AI is just gonna somehow create a novel without being able to be based on any, like, pre-existing English t li literature. It has to have some basis. In the same way that we are just bags of, you know, of inspiration. Stuff happens, we soak it in, and we eventually come out as, you know, come out as, like, some unique product. Um, oh gosh, my nose is so, like, sniffly. Ah. Still, like, scratch my head wondering what they want there. So, the only thing I think of is, uh, you gotta break it. It's a little bit. No, it doesn't look. doesn't look quite right. Oop. Super destroyed. Yeah, this looks. kinda weird. I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of moseying around, but I'm feeling like I'm a little bit stumped on this one. Dang it, Wario, why do you keep doing this to me? There's some weird, like, platforms in the corners, but... Melon had a coin. I forgot what was on the, uh, absolute rightmost. I don't think there was really anything. Nah, no, because that was just where you came up. So... I've got the key already, don't I? I've got the red key, yeah. So... What do I do? I'm thinking it's probably not in that door then. I'd be like, no way are they gonna keep leading me towards that. But then it's like, okay, well we've got the turtle thing. That's, this isn't the total thing. Catch me, Mr. Mouse. Uh... So I'm thinking... If I went down a, a pipe... Okay, this is where the thing goes. Maybe there's something else. Because I'm thinking, like, there's a pipe, that's the door that leads to the mouse room. There's this pipe. Which then leads to turtle room. I'm thinking... Is there something in turtle room? Okay, now the turtle gets spooked. Oh! It's a beaver! Is it because I've got the key? Like, why did he react all of a sudden? I wasn't even paying attention. That looks like a terrifying spiky thing, so... I think what, what I'm gonna do is, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna ground pound him. I'm just gonna probably hop up and start- ah! Okay, cool, you can bounce back on, though. Ooh. That's probably gonna get me with a cheeky shot. Whoa, whoa. That was a real tough boss. And the turtle has returned, dulled. That serves you right for blocking my goals. Well, that's cool. But, 
yeah, yeah. Oh, at the end of the day, uh, I think Neurosama deserves a place to exist, and I also feel like if people want to not get bored with AI, they probably want people. To, oh my gosh, my nose, jeez. They want. They probably want people to not like react, as in they don't want people to just go like, "Hey, it's an AI." Re, 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 re. When it's like, yeah, if you want to get bored with AI, get bored with AI. Just go, ah yes, Neurosama. You know, there's not much really going on after a while. Also, volcano. Did you did obviously the things I was collecting triggered a volcano. And also there's a massive crater there. You know. Of course. So look at this, the West Crater, and boom, the Colossal Hole. It's, it's not even East 3, we just jumped to East 4, like, they could have actually numbered this level differently. I don't think anyone would have minded. So, anyway, I can throw enemies, so, let's see if I can pick up a good one here. In the, uh, obligatory ice level, oh my gosh. Get him eventually. Oh. 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 I can't pick him up. Okay, this could be someone smaller to pick up. You're too big, my laddie. Oh. If I'm like swimming along, I'm like, yeah, no. Okay, so I'm gonna need something to, to pick up and swim back with. But yeah, yeah. I feel like Neurosama, like, if people are gonna say, like, rude things. Like, I don't know, I, I, I'm gonna do a bit of a grill here. Uh, a lot of these big websites, Twitch and YouTube, and I say this knowing full well I am on Twitch and YouTube. Let's add tw Twitter to the list, and Facebook. Pretty much every large website that, like, has a way for, like, people to make money off the advertising, uh, that they, like, off the advertising that effectively, you know, funds running the website. Um, Every single one of these sites that's like, oh, we selectively curate content to make sure it's advertiser friendly. That is a door down here. Did you notice? It's like just that little bit of shade black different. Uh, but they got like, in fact, actually, this is a perfect context. So YouTube has introduced a new policy, uh, which all YouTube partners have to agree to or else they stop being a YouTube partner. Cool. Okay. Um, and uh, it pretty much like supports earning revenue from shorts. Cool, by the way. I'm glad that that rock just bumped the thing and fell. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's mostly for earning revenue through YouTube shorts. Uh, but the conditions also say that YouTube has now granted itself the right to uh, charge back money that it pays its creators. As well as also, like, it kind of touches up the language in kind of ways that isn't quite great. Uh, it does still keep the, uh, the same, like, pay rate, I guess, but, yeah, at the end of the day, it's like, this is a little bit of a, like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna do a lob shot, there you go, check that out. I'm hoping this one gives a key. Oh, we gotta deal with birds. Cool, it gave a key. Cool. Um, but yeah, like, I kind of got to thinking, like, okay, there's three you know, like, roles. There's three perspectives in terms of a YouTube advertising, or four perspectives, actually. Let's count the viewer in the case. So we've got YouTube, the advertiser, the content creator, and the viewer. This is the, like, the four perspectives we've got. Uh, so obviously, as a viewer, you don't really have a say. You kind of get presented ads. Um, I don't think there's really anything the viewer can do about the ads beyond ad blocking, which, uh, Listen, if you're watching my stuff, like, perfectly fine if you block the ads. I really don't care. I block the ads myself. I don't give myself ad money. That's how... <laughs> that's how principled I am. Uh, but, like... You know what I mean? Where it's just like... Some people get, like, very antsy about the ad money, and I think the only reason why is because it's money. Oh, you're stealing my money. But, like... You know, like, ad blockers work because the process of advertising is incredibly, like... Uh, scummy, I'll just say. I'm not gonna say corrupt. 
or really anything like crazy harsh. But I would definitely say that like advertising on the internet feels very odd because unlike uh, television or really anything else, you're not appealing to like a demographic. You have a person right there whose details you are trying to accurately provide the most like, you know, well, <laughs> the most accurate ad. So you're trying to c collect as much data as possible to make the ads the most accurate. And yet, one, they get it so wrong. I keep getting ads for handbags. Stop. I don't need them. I don't use them. Uh, but also, yeah, like, that's a bit invasive, isn't it? Advertising companies, like, yeah, like, how much do advertising companies outside of the internet, how much do they know about the specific customers? Maybe they know the age range, potentially, of people who, I love it, it's like, grab, oh, whoops. Uh, potentially they know the age range of the, the, the crowd who is you now buying magazines. They know maybe like the, some other things they might buy, but like that's it. Like if I buy a magazine, it's not like an advertiser knows me in particular buys their magazine. It's like, oh, that guy streams on YouTube. So we'll advertise like I'll got a stream next to him or something like that. This isn't working out. I know we haven't seen the snowman before, and I'm pretty sure how it works is that you need to roll, and then you gotta roll into a bigger ball. This is probably the right direction going. I appreciate the, uh, the bait as well, where it's like, oh, look, look at that, it's a slope, but it doesn't give you enough speed. So we've gotta go this whole way to do it better. Back we go. Big ball. There we go. Um... But yeah, like, I don't know, I think it's a bit invasive, really all internet advertising. I personally like, you know, whenever advertisers respect do not track, but they don't have to. It's kind of annoying. There's nothing, there's nothing preventing an advertiser from just using the, you know, the most egregious data as possible. Ah, uh, I'm falling. That was a bit of a close one. Do I have to do a minigame for this one? Okay, right, that's the key. And there goes the key. And now I'm at the bottom of whatever... Whatever... Uh... Hellscape I've wandered into. And... There's a minigame clear. Well, I can't get in there, because I still need to roll in. I kind of like this idea of a, a massive, like, tall level. All my homies love a... TikTok clock. And, uh, by extension, click clock wood. Woods? Wood? I think it's woods in, uh, Banjo Kazooie. There's a lot of levels like that where it's just like, oh my gosh, it's so tall for some reason. There's a level in Banjo Kazooie that's just like this massive tower. Oh boy, one day I'll play that game. <laughs> Heard it here first. Uh, but yeah, so, point is. I don't care about ad blockers, but sure, okay. They're gonna be advertising to the people who don't have ad blockers on. Or you alternatively have a way to pay for the service uh, directly, which is kind of annoying that like, there's no real way for, I mean, a content creator has to self-host their own videos, which unfortunately is not the simplest thing. As much as I want to plug Peertube, I don't quite fully understand how to get Peertube working on my own right. Um, I mean, it's probably, yeah, I could probably spend a bit more time, but it's like, I don't have a free domain and lots of storage and processing capability to try and do it all. Like, it's like, yeah, like, best I could do is maybe, like, just look at the Docker image and go, yeah, this is not running quite right on my machine. All right, I gotta get in there. Oh boy, this is kind of big. This is a, a very tall, tall boy level. And I'm back at the beginning. I'm thinking I need to use this. This might be the only way to get this. And the owl's over there as well. Or I could just use the... Is the owl okay? Eh, stop it. We're falling. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. We're just missing every single one of them. 
for sure the grabber right here. So you can't. Okay. So that could have gone way better. Let's let's go up. Let's go back up. So the chest is, I think, in here, wasn't it? Maybe it's not. Okay. So it actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> for now. For now. Definitely looks like it could get worse. But for now, it's okay. Phew. Uh. But yeah, so anyway, the advertising has to happen. Now, YouTube, clearly, they support the platform. They, they run the, uh, the infrastructure, and in YouTube's case, they have a massive amount of uh, storage that they just have to constantly keep upkeeping. It's a, a thankless job, and honestly, one that I don't see them supporting forever. But point is, YouTube's got to make money, sure. Also, they set the rules, because it's their platform. I understand that. I think that there's a degree of, like, they need to be honest, they need to be a bit fair about it, but, yeah, like, sure, okay. You know, they set the rules, and if you're not happy with the rules, within a certain period, they can kind of shut it off, because you're just a casual employee, basically. You're a casual... I guess you're under a contract, technically. Oh, I gotta get yawned. Oh, I gotta get fired. Alright, get, get me fired up. <laughs> I am in the fire! Alright, let's hope if I've timed this right. Uh, not really. Not really. Oh, heck yeah! I got it. Uh, but yeah. Then you've got the advertiser themselves. Clearly, the advertiser, like, needs to make money. Sorry, they need to make money in the end. They're paying the money to get the ad. They want the exposure. Uh, now, I guess the question is, clearly, the third party, the you, the content creator, is a bit of an interesting, like, kind of, kind of thing, I guess. Uh, because, I guess traditionally, if you said, like, billboard advertising, it's like, really, the only relationship is, there's no, like, uh, content creator in this case. Uh, on television, you could say, oh, like, it's under, like, you know, someone creates a TV show, but then it's licensed to a television network. But you could still say, well, the person gets paid nonetheless, and the television network is the one that really benefits from the advertising, and it's their responsibility to kind of control what they want to air, what they want to run. So sure, okay. But yeah, the internet starts to get into a weird place where the content is being created kind of live, and on top of that, the content creator is the one who decides whether he wants to have advertising on his service. Oh, sorry, on his content. Um, now, as a kind of you know, cynical view, I now go, okay, if your content gets striked on YouTube, you have... Uh, well, one possibility is that YouTube continues to run ads, but your content is demonetized. Your content is supposedly not suitable for advertisers, but sometimes you'll still get advertisers on the video. Uh, to which I go, okay, so did YouTube just arbitrarily cut you out of the equation as the content creator while benefiting more for themselves the advertiser gets the same amount of exposure if assuming the video is the same amount of exposure whatever um by the way look at this got the eyes of the snake snake eyes two ones you get to doubles in monopoly what a strange rule having doubles in monopoly i love how this door is in the uh the leaning tower of pisa level as well Tower of Revival. I shall revive myself by trying to remember this level. Oh yeah! This level. You gotta turn on the lamps. Yeah, I remember I screwed that up the first time. I'm still on fire! I am still- okay, now I'm good. Um... But yeah, cynically, I kind of go, if YouTube cuts you, the creator, out of the content, I feel like, like, I mean, granted, you as a content creator are also free to delete your content in really any way possible. But I think the whole, like, issue with the adpocalypse that we had to deal with was that content, uh, was that advertisers weren't happy 
with all the scenarios that their con or that the advertising was being shown in. This is a kind of tricky run. Oh, I've got to still donut it up anyways. That all this work just to have to donut it. Okay. Oh, and I got an unzombie. I got a not zombie. Oh my gosh. I think it's Squidward, they're all over the place. Whoa. This keeps going as well. Alright. So I can donut up, but I wanna donut up in the right place. But I also need the key. So I actually need to. Well, I guess I'm gonna be fat now. Um. But yeah, now obviously not all content on YouTube is uh, actually appropriate for advertisers in the sense of if I'm Coca-Cola and this is a video about Pepsi, well, I guess actually that's that's fair um, kind of advertising, but it's also just like, yeah, like a video, how do I phrase it? Coca-Cola wouldn't be happy if this was a video about... Uh, Explosives or something like that. I feel like they wouldn't really advertise as hard on that one, but maybe they would. I don't know. Like, if the market overlaps. I guess it's up to their prerogative, but the whole point is, I don't really think advertisers have the control that they supposedly claim they have. I'm falling. Okay, well, I got two holes, so that's good. Um. Yeah, like, I don't know, I feel like, really, what should happen is, if your content is demonetized, I don't care, but, like, YouTube should just not run ads on it. If it is popular, figure out a strategy to do, like, on what to do with content that you cannot advertise on. Or alternatively, have advertisers be happy with, like, the content that is supposedly, like, demonetized. You as YouTube are claiming that all advertisers are not happy with advertising on supposedly demonetized content. But, I don't know, you're, you're gonna find someone who's gonna be okay with that. I, I don't know, like, that that's the thing, is that, like, it's a, it's a weird all-or-nothing stance YouTube takes. Either your video is okay, uh, or it's like, or it's got copyright, and uh, suddenly it's like, actually, they do have a shared tier, I will say that. Oh, I just realized as well. I need the zombie. Yeah, yeah, give me the zombie. Heck yeah. I was thinking, it's like, why, why are we getting zombies all over the place? Down I go. But I still don't have the key, unless there's a button to reveal the key. Oh, look at that, a button. Now I gotta go all the way back up, just to go all the way back down. Cool. Um, but yeah, uh, YouTube does have a mixed, a shared, uh, like, I guess, copyright claim mode, where advertising gets shared with, uh, or advertising revenue gets shared with, uh, whoever, like, claimed, you know, copyright material in the video, which, uh, as long as it's an accurate claim, I'm a bit okay with, because I don't mind, it's like, yeah, like, if you do use copyright material, I feel like there should be something that you can somehow decide on what amount is actually appropriate, because sometimes it's like, hey, I use something in fair use, and they're going to claim it, and I don't mind them identifying that it's their content, because sometimes it's just hard to really dispute that, but it's like, yeah, like, and then they get 50% of the revenue because I used two seconds of their song in a video. Like... Sup, Rage, how's it going? We're talking about the joys of uh, YouTube advertising. Uh, I haven't been hit with anything in particular, but it's just like... Just, yeah, like, it's, it just came across my mind, and it's like, yeah, like, what is the way to escape from this? And the only thing I can think of is to basically not have automated, uh, not even for, for violence. Uh, oh, like, yeah, 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 like, like, YouTube could, you know, on, under any kind of terms, prevent, like, advertisers from, oh, sorry, sorry, like, claim a video is demonetized. But what I'm saying is that, like, there's sometimes cases where a video still has ads on it, which means all they've done is they've just cut out the content creator from receiving reward for their work, and YouTube profits from it, and the advertisers still get their advertising. And it's like, do advertisers really, like, have the control they want? Look at this, by the way, I've got a big, big, big onion. The, actually, it, sh it should probably be garlic. It could be onion, though. But, uh, yeah, it's like... 
Wario is super powerful. He can now roll through big enemies and big blocks, and he can punch through big blocks, but you can't punch through it if it's part of the stage. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't mind if like YouTube made it clear what kinds of ads were on your video, and also if, as an advertiser, are you able to just say, hey, I'm okay with videos that are demonetized for these reasons? Like, if you say, hey, this video's got uh, firearms, like, and it's like, oh, you know, I don't want my products advertised next to that. But if you're a firearm advertiser, you'd be perfectly fine with that. So, uh, down I go. Back in this level, uh, the joys of trying to figure out where the red treasure is. I'm thinking, oh, I can't, I can't reach him yet. Um, but yeah, like, just to, just to, like, go double on top of that, like, I guess I could, I guess I could take these out now. That's cool. Um, like, I'm not really too sure what is the best way of going about it, of, uh, like, getting around it other than if a human reviews everything, which is impossible for YouTube. So, do we go back into the days of a, uh, a YouTube... Uh, partnership, I guess when, like, YouTube required a actual representative to, uh, properly make money through YouTube? I don't think that's a great answer, but, like, back in those days, it prevented this kind of problem where we are constantly at the mercy of, uh, an algorithm to claim that things are supposedly working alright. It should get better and better as time goes on, in theory. It still has its problems, though. I'll definitely say that, so... Uh, but yeah, like... I think the same thing happens on Twitch. Like, here is an AI VTuber... And it gets... Removed. If that VTuber was making money, which it was, it had subs... That, that VTuber was making money in some way... And suddenly, hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quit my job so I could stream on Twitch full-time. And then this happens. It's like, oh, okay. Like... Did they deserve it? I don't know, they're an AI program, like, you could, like, make the case that, like, they're just an AI program, like, that's it. I'm just going to space now, apparently. Why is there a bomb? Why is there a bomb up there? I feel like with a well-crafted kind of dash, I could probably break that block. I have no idea if that's even the right way to go, because it's just like... I don't know, I could probably... Could I squeeze in there? Maybe. I'm floating up. I'm floating up. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, like... I'm kind of spitballing maybe ideas, and I haven't quite fully thought of them out yet, but... Uh... I think the issue is complicated. And definitely, like, like, my broad answer is, like, yeah, I really do want the AI back. Even if it says curse things, I would prefer knowing the curse things so we could teach the AI to not say curse things. And instead, it's like, oh, we ban it. And it's like, yeah, okay, that doesn't... <laughs> the experiment isn't about banning the AI, it's about letting the AI train itself off real data. Also, I guess, maybe it's just against the terms of service to be training an AI based on Twitch data. Maybe Twitch doesn't like that. There you go. That's the real answer, right there. Here we go, roll them. Oh, whoops. But yeah, like... I don't know, like... Advertising is a weirdly messy territory on, uh, all these websites, so... Uh, the, uh, the short answer of what can you do as an individual, I guess you could kind of lean towards advertising policies in ways that you like. Uh, but most importantly, if your content creator has a way to directly fund them, or even better, um, <laughs> I was gonna say, even better, a merch store, but like, yeah, legit, like, if they got a merch store, that is their own direct business kind of thing that they've set up, I guess. Unless the merch store is, I sell t-shirt designs, and then the intermediate t-shirt designer store gets angry. Yeah, okay, we're back to square one again, but, um... Like, I don't know, is that, like, the way to go about it? Is, like, I think that definitely helps. Because we've got a big problem where it's like, you know, how do you support a content creator? Uh, for me, I've got a PayPal if you look for it. I don't really, like, no one plugs it, it's fine. But it's just like, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, I don't know. 
I should have, like, store.beardow.com. I can definitely get in where the minigame clear is, so... Maybe I should just get in where the, uh... Where the actual minigame spot is, then. What a thrill... Of darkness and silence... Real cheeky. Uh, yeah. Oh, I just realized as well, it's like, I, I need to break that block in order to... My brain, my brain is trying to, like, form a sentence. I just, like, realize it's like, oh, yeah, I'm playing a video game and streaming it, and I'm not saying anything. That's some gripping commentary right there. That's always a fun thing. Um... But yeah, like, I went down here and I broke the blocks. Maybe this just breaks. There you go, I was thinking, it's like, yeah, that probably just, just breaks on its own. And I'm, I appreciate they give me the, uh, warnings of, like, oh, you can break these. So, that's the key. Which is cool that I've got that, but now it's like, okay, now I'm just gonna figure out the chest again. It's like, I think that's the actual media that like would have struck here. It's kind of cool. This is a cool level. I love it. That's got to be something. I feel like it's the mini game. The mini game seems like the way to go. Now I gotta dodge this guy and then just like do a dash jump. Okay, that works. And then I was like, oh, how high do I have to jump? And it turns out, not. Not jumping. That's not a real easy way to get back up. That's the joy with vertical levels. Always a pain. What a wonderful, <laughs> like, climbing animation as well. But, yeah. I will say one thing I have accomplished in the past week, and I hope you all... 100% appreciate what, what this is. I finally got all- Oh, you do have to jump. I finally got all 85 gold medals in Gran Turismo 4. It's a feat that I have never achieved as a kid, and even now I'm like, this is like rather incredible. But yeah, for, for reference, Gran Turismo 4 is a video game I hold near and dear to my heart. I'll never play it live on stream. Maybe, well, I'll never play it in full live on stream because it's, uh, well, I mean, it's still going. It's so long. There's so many things to do. That is a real cheeky jump. There's a real cheeky... Worst part is that I'm gonna hit that, like, that block, and then it's like, now I gotta do the jump again. Or I got, uh, I could probably do like a crouch, like, walk off the ledge and lean back. So I don't think I have to, like, become flat to do it, but yeah, oh boy, that's a cheeky, that's a cheeky thing. But yeah, no, Gran Turismo 4, uh, the, the metal challenges, the license tests are rather tricky. Uh, the general trend that I did see was like, the shorter the test, the more precise you generally had to be. Um, but there were a few exceptions of longer tests that also felt like they were kind of nastily, like, too precise. I found a couple of the lap challenges were like that. Um, I think there was one on, um, Cirque de la Sade. Actually, no, that was like IA-16. I had a lot of problem with IA-16, which was like doing the long part of Cirque de la Sade and you've got a, a, um, like a ridiculous amount of like, okay, there you go. You've got a ridiculous amount of, like, wheel spin when you try and pick up. And it's, like, the only way that I can, like, see people do it is, one, use manual, because you don't want to be in second gear. You don't want to be in the automatic gear that it chooses to try and, like, build up speed. It's like, no, you want to be in the speed that, like, has an easier time with the wheel speed. Uh, the wheel spin. So that's kind of annoying. Um, obviously people notoriously know, like, 
either of the, the time trials involving Nurburgring, because you gotta do like the whole lap, so here's the thing, if I lean like this, whoa! There we go. Uh... Hold on one, I'm a god. If only I could do that in Switch Sports. I've gotten some decently good shots. I've gotten chip shots. So it's only a matter of time when it's like I'll, I'll be able to guess it quite correctly and get an actual hollow one in that game. Um, but yeah, the, um, the, yeah, the license tests were tricky. I got the missions a bit ago. I found, I found mission 34 is not like as bad as the license test. The license tests are still really gnarly, but. Yeah, it's it's a bizarre game to me because it's like it's an era of game that like I just they don't make them like they used to, but like they actually don't. Like Gran Turismo 4 only will happen once, and I feel like the people who were around at the time witnessed that, and that's that's that. That's that's Gran Turismo 4 basically. It's got a bajillion cars, uh, at least in the PAL version. 734, uh, 730. No, no four on this one. Oh my gosh. Um, they all look really, really good, although uh, I've been using the, um, the kind of like bonnet cam, and the bonnet cam kind of gets you to spot some quirkiness about the, uh, the car models. The, the soundtrack's really good. So many tracks. To me, it's like one of the most, like, feature-filled PS2 games because of just how many things are in it. And, uh, I guess the only thing is like, yeah, you've got to kind of be into... Like, motorsport, you, you have to kind of appreciate that kind of stuff to some degree, because you're going to be driving around in a circle for 15 minutes at a time, and that gets, that gets real boring if you're not into that. Look at this. Let's bring it up. And up it goes. What, whatever did I just do? Well, apparently it revealed something in N4. And apparently it revealed something in W3. That's pretty cool. We'll keep it going. I guess I'll probably do W3 now. <laughs> this is on the way. The pool of rain. Have I gotten... Yeah, this will also be the last one on this one. Uh, so, okay, we're looking for a wall that just went up. I forgot what was up the beanstalk. Shouldn't be anything too weird. Uh, but yeah, no, I've I've been enjoying Grand Twist before, so would would recommend. Uh, it's got a absolutely gnarly retro achievement set, which is uh, virtually like beating so many of the the races with a certain number of aspect points, which just involves how tricky you made the race for yourself. By the way, like I love games with like. Um, player set difficulty levels in the sense of like pushing yourself for something. Uh, I absolutely love Cook Serve Delicious for this. I feel like Grand Turismo 4 is along the right lines. It just doesn't have any actual like reward for it. There's, you get your A spec points, but like there's nothing, there's nothing beyond like a number on your, on your uh, profile to just say how many you've gotten. Uh, but it's a great like thing to like, you know, try and collect, try and, did I get the, no, that was a coin. I was like, that wasn't a key. Um, but yeah, no, the achievements kind of force you to, to do, like, decent, like, challenges. None of them are crazy impossible, but the one thing is, like, sometimes you can have a car that, like, is so borderline on, like, whether... Oh, you have a car that's so borderline on whether it's, like, actually good or not, uh, but it's, like, you're barely getting any points because the game just decides, like... No, you're up against like some really like good cars. You're, you're not gonna be able to, to handle it. It's like what? Like, or rather, like it should be giving you more points, but it isn't. So there's a hundred percent a reason for it. I actually think the one kind of really annoying part is that the the points you get is based on the like average across all the um, all the cars in the race you're up against, and. Uh, Obviously, if the, like, one guy is better than the rest, it doesn't matter that the average is lower, because you're trying to beat the fastest one. You're trying to beat the, the actual fastest one, so it doesn't matter. 
So, yeah, like, it's a bit more fair if it was based on who's probably gonna win. Oh, I'm going up. I'm so- oh no, that's the ceiling. Okay. Well, I assume this is dead zone because, of course. Uh, there's a lot of achievements as well on, uh, just, like, winning various cups, uh, in one sitting, which I think is uh, a fair challenge. Uh, to have. There's the blue key, so now we just need the chest. Which hopefully is just like, right, ne right next door. This reminds me of bloopers. Oh, they swooped down at you. I'm just gonna assume it's not up here, it's probably... Uh... This is an ominously empty area. Game. Is it actually up? Like, that's why there's no balloons any further up. Well, okay, it's it's up there, but it's not like where I just ended up. Dang it. So, yeah, I would recommend Grand Turismo 4. Uh, and, yeah, it's, it, I don't know, some people have like quirks with, uh, or like, notes about like, the later Grand Turismos. Uh, and kind of like, 5 feels like a, a cash grab, maybe? Because it's like, 5 has less content, or more content, but like, ported content. Which is a, a fair assessment, but, I don't know, as someone who hasn't played, or who doesn't have a PS3, I don't know exactly. Even in Gran Turismo 7, I think they've still just kept bringing forward the cars, because the models are so good in Gran Turismo 3 and 4 and onwards. And it's another crayon, by the way. I'm glad I picked up another crayon. What I believe the crayon does is that every time we walk through this specific room, and it's got like a block that says minigame, you get all the crayons, we'll be able to play the minigame. And since I'm getting all the treasure, I'll get there. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it was N4. Alright, so I'm looking for... A treasure chest. Well, it's probably up here. Dang it. Big frog. Bats. Here we go. Bats will give me the key to success. Alright, another frog. Oh, it's <laughs> big pool of water. Oh, I hate, I hate bats. Alright, where's the water? There it is. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, got the key. Ah, uh, and then I see what's probably going through here, is that now you want to be able to get to the end of a section and dash through a block. Or just keep going left, I guess. Well, there you go. And I want to be on fire. Interesting. That's a crafty spot. Uh, yeah. I feel like there's a- there is an era of, like, just licensed racing games that is just completely gone, because virtually every licensed racing game never gets re-licensed. It only exists at its time, and it disappears like the wind. But I feel like Gran Turismo 4 is like, it's a tree. It's like, something lost because we don't have Gran Turismo 4 anymore. Oh, now we're gonna get the block all the way up without catching fire on everything. Okay. There we go. Chuck it up through there. This, I assume this is now the goods because now it's at the right, I mean, it's at the right elevation level that I can just run down here. Hopefully be on fire at the right point. Go. He's laughing. He knows. Warrior knows. He knows how bad I was at Gran Turismo 4 as a kid. But yeah, I think I'm probably about halfway through. I love how this is the blue treasure, like right away. Um, I'm probably about halfway through all the events of the game. Like, there's a lot of events. Um, I have left out a lot of the endurance events, so. 
I might not be halfway in terms of game time. I also kind of want to collect a lot of the cards, because some of the achievements involve, uh... And yes, I know, I'm in the same level. A lot of the achievements, um... Are based around, like, just take this car, put yourself in the challenge where you get this many A-spec points, go for it. Like, just try out this car. I really like that. That's, that's good fun and gets you to properly, like, you know, explore the actual variety of cars you've got in the game, because... As much as, like, we're all meme that there's, like, 40 cars that are Nissan Skylines, it's also like, yeah, like, you know, what about the Supra? What about the, the, the Celica? What about the, um, the, I'm trying to think, like, what? It's obviously not something past the, uh, blue. Greetings, Bob, how's it going? Uh, there's obviously something past, not past the platform there on the left. Give me the uh, the sign for a blue for the for the gray token. Ah, that's a crafty. There we go. Oh, and I'm running. I'm running. Uh, but yeah, uh, here's an engagement challenge. Let me know what kind of PS2 era video game or PS1 era video game is just you know isn't going to be remade. It's got licensed content up the wazoo. It's just it, it'll exist in its time, and that's it. And your memory is special of it, because I'll never make it again. Uh, for me, probably as a kid, if it wasn't Gran Turismo 4, it was probably uh, Guitar Hero. And granted, Guitar Hero has unofficially been made into the thing that, uh, I guess people remembered. Oh boy, am I about to sneeze? Maybe. Oh gosh, the, it, it, it is groggy, groggy stream again. I appreciate it. Second stream of 2023, and it's already groggy stream. Uh, gosh, the sinuses, I swear. That's the thing again. Still no, no key, no, like... Like, this is a long, kind of repetitive area. I was thinking, I was like, there's gotta be some point where you can just, like, dash further. But now it's like, is this the right place, or am I just- Oh no, this is the right place! But where is the chest, then? I think this is also, like, a consequence of being super strong. So I'm just gonna find, like... Unless that was, like, literally, like, oh, you had to be strong to get that. So now it's like... Oh. I shall, I shall float to the heavens. Guitar Hero was a wonderful thing. Exactly, yeah. I think Guitar Hero is like, it came out at the perfect time. It got milked to the extreme. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, when you can cite eight games with Hero in its name that came out in 2009 in particular, that's how you know. That's how you know. They kind of went a bit overkill. Let's go, by the way. Guitar Hero Metallica, Smash Hits, uh... Van Halen, Five, uh, Band Hero, DJ Hero, and I believe two of the DS games. All came out in 2009. Look at that! Look at that! There's a whole new menu, just sitting there. Just sitting there, you just had to unlock this menu. So if you hold down B, you can now see what were the treasures you actually got in these places? As well as also, I think uh, the last one is to tell you that you've gotten uh, all the music notes, I think. I think maybe. But that's kind of good fun that like, it's like, oh yeah, did you realize that like the game doesn't tell you where that was? So, yeah. Anyway, check it out. Sea Turtle Rocks. We've got a, ro a turtle level. A little tiny slope. That's enough to roll off. Into water. Trying to think. Oh, you know what was another one? And I, I say this one with a grain of salt now, in the, in the sense that we could be on the cusp of re emulating this, but uh, does everyone remember the eye toy? The eye toy, uh, I feel like I'd never, I've never demonstrated on my channel, but it was something that, like, totally was, like, the gimmicky thing I used as a kid. It's basically a USB webcam, uh, that plugs into the, uh, um, into the PS2, and it's kind of weird because, like, it's got a manual focus. You, like, twist the rim and it would, like, adjust the focus like that. Um, 
and uh, the, the the big pack and title was I Toy Play, and the same as We Play, which came with a Wii Remote. I Toy Play came with the I Toy. It actually had two direct sequels, I Toy Play Two and Three. I think I Toy Play Two is like a remarkably like great piece of software. Not necessarily a game, but as a real curious thing because it's got so much like un finished kind of content. It's just there. It's just like, ah, oh, okay, like, this is... Why, why is this guy here to torment me? Like, I'm trying to understand, like, what is this level? Because this is clearly where I need to be. Yeah, I was thinking, it's like, I gotta ground down this. There's no way. I'm not really, like, go forward. Uh, but it's, it's real curious, because, um, yeah, like, that was in that era of, like, peripherals just like being the big thing. We've obviously got the Guitar Hero and obviously like Dance Dance Revolution and other kinds of things. Uh, don't get me started about the Buzz remotes, uh, another PS2 uh, kind of thing. It's a USB thing that is directly wired to four little just actually plasticky controllers, but they got four colored buttons and a bright red bottom button on the top. And uh, the bottom button has a light as well, so you'll never be able to recreate that one in an emulator. But uh, one thing I will say is that you can emulate PS uh, or iToy functionality decently well in PCSX2. It like you can pass in a webcam and it will properly do the scaling and make it all kind of work. Although uh, make sure your your webcam is in. Oh gosh, it's a it's a tentacle. Oh, I have been captured by him. Um. But, uh, yeah, you gotta make sure your webcam is, uh, 4x3, because if you try and pass on a 16x9, the emulator just, like, uh, automatically adjusts your aspect ratio, which is not ideal. Um, that's over on the right. No, just nothing. Um, but yeah, like, we're on the cusp of, like, really, like, reliving those kinds of titles. Um, I think it's, like, the nice thing is that, like, we all have webcams, there is a functional replacement for the iToy. Uh, the only thing is, uh, I guess, a lot of cameras have autofocus. The iToy, uh, even, it handles the dark thing well. I know I gotta bop him on the head. Not like that, though. I'm not doing it like that. But, yeah, like, I feel like the iToy is definitely one of those. Uh, it was also alongside the SyncStar microphones, which was a, uh, you know, in hindsight, a very short-lived kind of thing where, uh, it was just USB Logitech microphones. I think they actually detected in Windows fairly fine uh, at the time. And I'm on the head. Oh, oh, he's going around. Maybe I gotta hit him on the bottom. Nope, he's going, he's going back in. Ah. Yeah. Bonk. Oh, oh. All right, cool, I'm safe. We're going over this side. We're going over that side. We're going over this side. I love the, just the spontaneity of the boss fights in this game as well. Like, you don't even expect it. It's just like, oh, look, it's the boss. Like, oh, cool. It just shows up, you gotta deal with him. He's still going. Maybe I, I've actually got to hit him here. I was thinking, like, he's not like, actually getting hit. Okay. Now he's angry. Oh, he's, he's, he's being very, very mean. There you go. Bonk. Bonk. Okay, which way is it gonna go? Which way, Western man? There you go. Bonk. Oh, he's actually dead. He's become an angel. Poor man, man. Oh no, his, his halo has come to become a life raft. This is pretty cool, I just wish I had the key. <laughs> so I, I guess I just exit the way I came in. The key is bound to be somewhere else, but sure. This is the, uh, the correct thing to get. Still. It is sparkly, so it might be along the right lines. But, yeah, I feel like that's an era of, like, I mean, granted, also, like, if it's not, like, that kind of peripheral-based game, it's probably stuff like the light guns and other kinds of fun little doodads like that. I don't suppose I could roll this way, because it's just, like, 
it kind of stops here, but it's like, it looks like it could keep going. Or it's just a bait spot. No, 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 it's fine. Or is it not liking me ground pounding there for a bit? It's a very big chamber. Just so it could get me to ground pound right here. And get that. Okay, where's the... Where, no keys still? I've just got a... This is a Mylon Secret Castle style level, isn't it? They knew. They knew exactly what they were doing. I'm excavating. But there on the right, you're also missing secret parts. There's bound to be a, a bit more as well, but... Ah, uh, we're just getting the key, and then getting out, getting the heck out of Dodge. Because if I... Like, you only really need to get the treasures. You want to try and get all the abilities so you can fully explore these places later on. There we go. So what am I doing down in here? I can swim... Up. Back up to where I was. And there's nothing... What? What? Why? Why? Why have I broken my way down here? Feels like a, you probably got stuck and you need an exit, but... Yeah. Okay, well, we'll check some places on the right. Uh... I don't think there's anywhere more right here. There's definitely stuff that's down there, I'm definitely thinking that, so yeah, you're probably along the right lines. Yep, okay, this is just a getaway tract. This is the whole left. No, you're all, all left. What happened to Simon Cow's face, I swear? So I went all the way here. And then I didn't, like, figure out that you could just ground pound there. Which, again, this just... Uh, I'm back up to the top, so it's probably somewhere, like, leaning down into the center that I've got to dig. The gooey center. So, okay, so I went down here. The blue water is where the goal was. And I basically bound myself to, to lie in here. So this is how you get this coin. Uh, these are just these are just blocks. These are just here, because why not? Okay. I'm thinking there's probably like a seat. Ooh, I'm thinking as well, like you could prob no, you can't stand there. It's 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 thinner, but can't stand it. It's definitely somewhere down below because there's Obviously a, uh, a platform I could jump through from down there. Harry Potter for Game Boy Color. I did not play Harry Potter for Game Boy Color. Nah. I really should. Because uh, it's a it's a pretty decent, like, just a little handout RPG, isn't it? So many stuff hidden. You can uh, get by running past any wall in the game and spamming a, yeah, great RPG. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there's a, there is a period of, uh, like, really good, um, even just, yeah, really good license games. This didn't, cause yeah, if I went up, there wasn't anything to do. Just, to, just for me to note as well. This halo is gonna show up, and then I go up, and it floats me up a bit, and then I go up here, and that's the chest that I need to get to in the end. And I didn't pick up a key, just to, just to double check as well. So that a cave you enter the bottom. Uh, it kind of looks like the boss just kind of came from there. Like, it kind of looks like it, but I, I'm hidden up. And it doesn't look like a door, so... I was astute enough to spot that one. I, I'm, I'm glad I spotted that. Um, and yeah, it just kind of drops you back where you wanted to enter otherwise. I guess it's because it's the boss. It's the end of the area. So I'm, I was thinking, I was like, yeah, there's bound to be one if I go this way. Okay, so I'm back, or oh, I'm not back, I am here. Back in the black, the black water.
Alright, now I'm in the black water. I'm gonna swim this way. Oh. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, cool. Cool. I had two ways to guess and I chose the wrong one. Because that's gonna like dead end at some point, isn't it? Oh no, it also goes back up. Why would I go all the way back that way when I could just finish the level? Who knows? Oops. I hit up because I want to go up out of the water and instead it's the same button to go back to that. This is what you get when you only got six buttons. You just gotta deal with it. You gotta deal with it. I love how uh, Select also still does the same thing. Like, it doesn't go into any fancy menu. That's the simplicity of this game. Uh, I got, I got one treasure. Because it's the first treasure. There's a couple, I think there's two levels where I've gotten all the treasures though. I don't know if you could get all the treasures though. I don't think you can. Not on, like, this guy. I think you might need to come back later. And you have to re-get the keys anyway. Like, when you enter a level. And this is the third music box, isn't it? Took a bit of time this stream to get it, but... A wonderful song. A wonderful melody. To blow up into the mountain, sure. The Cave of Flames! Which is the, uh, the next place to go to, I believe. I feel like, as much, as much as I played handheld games, I feel like I don't have as many strong handheld- Oh, yeah, give me some cool music in the Cave of Flames. It's cool. <laughs> it's got that nose flute kind of sound. I would love to do, like, play the Gazoo right now, but it would sound one atrocious and two... <laughs> Not on a runny stream. This is exactly what I want, like, a cave of flames to look like, though. It's got flame on the walls. And it's kind of glowing as well. It's got the colors. It's got bombs. How cool are bombs? Oh, we got a grey platform. That's pretty cool. I assume this isn't like throwing- nope, this is just a grey platform. Cool. Bomb. Uh, that's the chest. Cool. Okay, we got the chest. <laughs> Doesn't make your ears bleed. I can't remember the last time I played a game where uh, the music made my ears bleed. Alright, well, uh, um... Dragon Cave and Silver- oh, yeah! Like that kind of tune. It's like it's bizarrely loud. Alright, just get just get one of them through. Just get there you go. Throw them that nope. Throw them down so I can pick them back up. And then this is gonna be kinda awkward. This is actually gonna be real awkward. I don't think he's I don't think it's right. Nah. Is there something on the other side? Yeah, yeah he, could, he could come down here. Uh, no, we're in the same problem. You gotta roll this! Oh, permanently stuck. You gotta roll through this, don't you? And I'm thinking like, there's these, you know, there's these bits down here. I'll go into the lighthouse, into the tin tower, dragon cage occasionally just to listen to music. That game's got a great soundtrack, Pokemon Gold. Something kind of... Actually, I, I, I don't want to say, like, there's something lost with modern Pokemon music, because modern Pokemon music is also good. They, they've consistently been doing some good vibes the whole time. Bellsprout Tower sometimes. Alright, come on. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. I'm feeling I'm gonna need a, a fella to back me up here. Uh, no, I'm not, apparently. I, I have passed through the unknown, apparently. <laughs> you cleanse yourself of sin when you pass through the, the barrier here. 
I like stand here, can I throw him hard enough? That you, yeah, it breaks that. But then, <laughs> I I have gone through the, the other side. I've seen things. What even is that? What even is that supposed to be? So, all right, key. But I love the way that like this game is opening up. I feel like I haven't addressed the game as much beyond like just describing like this happening. But like, I I really do love how it's just like yeah, like here's a new level. Like go and explore it. Here's a new kind of power up. Here's the levels that you could use it in. And it's just like, it just keeps opening up in these wonderful ways. And I feel like that's like, that's a wonderful charm that like, we just don't get with, um, we don't get with Wario Land 4, that sort of thing. Wario Land 4 is great for other reasons, but if you like this style of game, this is the swan song. This is the last of what you're going to get. Magic Wand. Just like one of the earlier items. It just... Tells you, no, man, you're going S2 now. And E2. And back to the Sea Turtle Rocks. This is probably what you're thinking. So, let's go back to S2. Yeah. So, I do remember going over here. Oh, look at that! I can now see in the water. And it's another one of these swim past the bubble rooms. I swear, I've been calling out like every time this shows up. There's so many of these swim past the bubble rooms. Ah, okay, I gotta break these so that I can come back later. Like, do some crouch jumps through these. Oh. But yeah, uh, so, uh, yeah, what, uh, what exciting stuff has happened at the beginning of the, the year? Probably not, like, too much. Beginning of the year is always pretty quiet. Alright, we do the crap. up. Oh, just do the crouch jump successfully. I love the idea of crouch jumps. It's like, it's just such a gamey thing. It's like, you ever play, like, Half-Life, you gotta do those crouch jumps. Like, they're purely there because of the mechanic, like, hey, you know, you can keep your crouch in mid-air. Alright, here we go. Take two. Yeah, here we go. I was like, don't you dare give me a key f uh, give me- Oh, that's the chest! That's the chest! Melon's on me because I know exactly where the, where the key is. Oh, wait. No, that's just a coin. I was like, I was like, oh, is it just here? Nope. Bubbly, bubbly, bubble. In that case, my hunch is that the, uh... <laughs> the key was in this room. I feel like it was visible. Yeah, it's visible, but it's like, what do you do? Well, I couldn't break these earlier. Okay, it's time it right. There we go. Alright, I gotta watch out for the spider. Die. Hate spider. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, I... Sure. I actually don't mind spiders. Is it a very Australian thing to, like, not mind spiders? There's clearly, like, some real nasty spiders who are, like, bound to kill you, but, like, you just know what you're looking for. Most other spiders, it's like, yeah, like, if you a actually a anger them, they're just gonna give you, like, itchy spots. Just gonna deal with the itchy. <laughs> I'm afraid of bubbles. That is a cheeky. That is a cheeky spot for an enemy as well. Yeah, I don't know if as a, as a kid I ever... I feel like I probably had those times where like I would just like listen to music in a game. I'm trying to think, like, what is the game that I would listen to a lot of music of? I do remember like when Smash Bros. Brawl came out. Uh, I found some guy who did a rip of all the music. Uh, and I would listen to that a lot and throw some of those songs into uh, the YouTube videos at the time. Um, 
Smash Bros. Brawl was probably the worst game for me as a guy making YouTube videos as a 12 year old on the internet. People are probably real tired of those songs. Look at that! A lamp! That's everything at this level done, so... Cool. Uh, let's go back to Turtle, Turtle Rock Studios. It's kind of a shame I still can't go from, like, north to east. Okay, so there's bound to be something cool. Because now I can see in the water, which means all of this water... At all. I've got to rediscover my love of invisible platforms. Rediscover my love of Mylon's secret castle. Oh boy, back, back to the digging. I do remember as a kid as well. I never owned the original Gran Turismo as a kid. I do remember my uncle had it though, and I was deeply entranced by like how bizarre the music was. Um, if anyone's played that one, it's like that game on the PS1 has a like very surreal like soundtrack, especially for what Gran Turismo is nowadays. Where it's like all jazzy lounge music, and it's like yeah, it was only jazzy lounge music in the uh, in the Japanese version. It was hard synth in the uh, in the English and localized versions, and they kept doing different music in all the different games for a while, which was I guess it also makes it hard to keep up with. But that's bound to be like a Game Boy game as well. It's just like, ah yes, the soundtrack is me. It speaks to me. Well, like, that's the fun part about video game music, is that, like, it's intentionally a different medium. It's like, this is music, but it's also presented in this video game. It, it's, it's got the context of, like, what is in the back. Oh, is it like, watch out for the apples? No, it is get the apples. Oh. He's making fun of me. Apparently apples also make Wario fat, but you gotta watch out! Should be as simple as uh, clearing a minigame. What, what is the minigame? Why oh, yes, it's golf every time. I've got a lot more coins than I used to. Uh, this is the one where you don't hit it all the way. But I feel like that probably wasn't enough to hit it, because now it's like you've got a massive gap that you've got to somehow clear. Well, I gave myself the extra hit, but I'll get me to the other side, and then if I'm good enough... Yeah, okay, no, this game sucks. <laughs> when you're here, you just, you literally can't do anything about it. They gotta know, they gotta be like, oh, yeah. Poor here runs up to it just to be disappointed. Alright, take two, uh, same problem. I just knock it right in the water. Oh, cool. I should play a golf game on stream, just so that like, everyone is like, oh, golf. Golf games are occasionally interesting. Okay, I'm on the precipice. I am on the brink. I am on the edge. I'm on the, the tip. Heck yeah! First try. Back in with it. Hi. I'm gonna assume the, uh, the key is up there. Actually, like, playing through this game again, it also makes me, like, super appreciate how, like, approachable it is. Like, there's a couple of times where I've just been like, okay, like, I, I just, like, don't get it. But, like, I feel like, hey, I was just wandering around this level, like, really aimlessly just then. And yet I would still come across the chest and the key. The chest and the key make so much sense. Despite the levels 
being decently massive once you start considering all the different pathways you can take. I got an eye. An eye for an eye makes the whole world decently visible. That is uh, another snake eye, but I don't think you're gonna... <laughs> yeah. I don't think you're gonna see the result in this stream, at least. All the way to the other side. Back in the icy land of the frigid sea. This is exactly the kind of music I'd love to hear. I got the the red chest already, so I think Yeah. I'm just like playing in my head as like what, what is the next one I'm going for? I went up there before, so I'm just gonna keep going, I guess. So we hit the end here, but... Can I break these? Not yet. And I got a rock. Actually, I think I broke the first, like, bit. I had this, and then I just, like... I, like, just went up immediately, but I'm pretty sure there was a second one where it's like, yeah, if I keep going more left, I'll find this. Yeah. <laughs> that hurt on the inside, that actually hurt. Why? Why? Why would you drop the rock warrior? Oh no, my arm only, like, works in one angle. If anything tries to push it any further, I will just drop the object I'm holding. Wario only worked out in one, like, routine for, like, four years. So he's absolutely, like, built on the top. And he's got absolutely no legs. I think it's because he's got a, a diet entirely out of garlic. Like, what, what... I don't know. Garlic's a vegetable. Vegetables are good for you. Just constantly eat vegetable. You think it's ironic he turns into a vampire anyways? Like... The one thing, the one thing you you eat that you think would get turned off by your diet, and it's like, nah, man, Vamp oh. I I try, I tap forward to like just be like, oh, just just a little bit closer, and then of course it's all slidey. I've killed all the bears though, so. But yeah, you think Wario would like never become a vampire, but. Oh, it happens. It happens to us all. Oh. Okay, that is, that is the perfect amount I needed to do. Yeah. Slidey, 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 slidey. Wait, this area looks familiar. This area does look really familiar. Hang on. Hang on! <laughs> Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, that's where the red chest was. So it must have been the earlier one then. Man, I feel like a dumby right now. I'm just like, I, I, I played this this stream. I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm just going this way. Oh. But. I remember as a kid, like, we used to always have, like, discussions about werewolves versus anything, really? There was a lot of werewolves. I remember we had, like, a, like, pe some kids would actually believe they were werewolves, and I don't know the specific piece of media that, like, convinced people that they were werewolves. Could it be Harry Potter? Maybe. It's not glamorous in Harry Potter, I don't think it's that. But yeah, I remember it's like, if it wasn't even werewolves, it was just like, ooh, the full moon does funky things. It's like, that wonderful, like... <coughs> ah, there's the sneeze. <coughs> Take two. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, blow that nose. Sorry, fellas. Wow, that is... <laughs> that is a... Uh, a wonderful showing 
Oh, jeez. Cool. Oh, I'm glad I got that sneeze out of the way, but like, jeez. <laughs> Uh, I know it's gross, but like, oh my gosh, my nose has been like, slowly like, turning into like, Niagara Falls over the course of the whole stream. And I knew like, my throat was like, a little dry, but I was like, I don't think it'll get worse. And fortunately, fortunately, my voice hasn't gone bad. Although it's probably because I haven't done any falsetto. I think I've done a little bit. And it's okay, no one, no one noticed. Alright, so I must have gone up here and then not been able to... No, because this was where the key was. So, in that case, I'm an idiot, and the answer is probably just in the water. And I've been, like, going right... Like, this was probably clear water, or black water. Yeah, like... That was a music reference, if anyone knows it. It's not an obscure song. Okay, I, I hit a button. Then I go down the hole, and I'm back to... Oh, the ice is covered over, and then I need to go back, I assume, to... Uncover the ice, because I need to go back over here. Yeah. Okay, no, no, I, I understand your game, game. Ah, this is all good, but yeah, like... <laughs> I don't know why, as a, as a kid, uh, I never got, like, crazy into the whole, like, vampires, werewolves thing. I don't know, I think they're, they're neat. About it. Uh, but, yeah, like, I remember, like, there were kids, this was probably when I was, like, seven or eight, so. <laughs> I don't know, it could have actually been Harry Potter at that point. Um, but it was like, yeah, like, people would believe they would become a werewolf, and then it's like, clearly they didn't. Also, wow, lantern! Oh, I just needed, like, some fire. <laughs> and would you look at that? It lights up the world. Turns out, there was a whole castle there. You just... You just open your eyes, bro. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't see it. So, how many treasures are we at? Uh... There we go. 48. Let's see if I can snag two more. Mickey Mouse and the Castle of Illusions. Okay, cool. Is there gonna be a button in here? Uh, there's a button, but there's also more room. Okay. I don't think I could do anything particularly about that, but sure. But this should allow me to at least jump up here. And I just hit the Squidward. Oh, I guess that's how you get that, but I didn't need it. I didn't want it. Okay, we're still going through more doors. One does not simply walk through more doors. And, uh, we're dead, but maybe... There we go, second. Yeah. Hit the button. Okay, well, there's a, there's a red coin, so that's a, that's a hint that, like, oh, okay, this is probably not the first thing I'm getting. I don't think there's been any level where the grey chest is not the first one you get. This is gonna be kind of awkward if I have to go back through all this. Again, this is like, this is just gonna be another chest. Or something, something different, something interesting. Yeah, yeah, agree one. Everyone likes jumping on platforms. I remember there are uh, Mario Brothers 2. Like the lost levels Mario Brothers 2, not the not the other, not Doki Doki Panic. Uh has like a the kind of invert block level. Oh. Whoa. 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 Don't do this to me, bro. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, so that's the key. Was the chest like all the way at the beginning and I just never got it? Oh, I must have to zombie over there, like somewhere on the right. 
Because I don't imagine there's uh, really an easy way to get over here unless like, you can break one of these. That is where the chest is though. Why, why would I move this? What does this particular object have? Like, if there's something else in the room, I mean, there's the enemy. But, like, I can't bounce off them, but, like, clearly it's for the first chest. I'm scratching my head, I'm going, hmm. Hmm. What, what am I in for? I could go over there, that might give me a clue. What is like, what is like the mythical like creature that best describes you as a human being? I don't know, vampires seem kind of weird, because like vampires just like feed off other people. Werewolves just exist. They don't seem like they're as weird. Uh, I also don't know why they're pitted against each other that much. There's a lot of media where that's the case, where it's like, it's like it's not just like Twilight, it's, it's like lots of stuff. I think there's gonna be a zombie over here, so I'm just gonna drop down here and... Okay... Uh, that's a... That's a bit mean. Hmm. Okay, we flip it, we go back through the door. Out for Squidward head, and we just jump down. And now there's this guy, but I can't. I'm not strong enough to lift him. So the answer must lie entirely in this room. But what is with this? What is with the pedestal? Unless you just ground pound under it. You can definitely screw yourself by pushing yourself up against a wall. I was thinking, or if like there was something like requiring you to push it up against the wall. I think it only gives you one shot as well, so. That's a bit, okay, that is exactly what I needed. Cool. Bonk, bonk. Uh... I wish I actually, like, properly watched Lord of the Rings as a kid, because maybe then it's like, oh, there's probably, like, a fun, like, creature in Lord of the Rings. It's like, oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe there's something else. I should really understand my fantasy a bit more. I was having a chat with a mate about Del Toro Quest. Del Toro Quest is one of Sydney's greatest exports. We got the overalls, the coveralls, if you will. Isn't is coveralls a trademarked name? So anyway, got the overalls, which allows the ground pound and actually create shockwaves, as well as also destroying big enemies and ground pounding through thick bricks, thick as a brick, if you will. And a few more levels open up. W6, W1, and we're back at north again, okay. So I'm gonna see if I can get maybe two more. Let's do W6 first. That's south, I don't know what I'm thinking. I feel like there's a couple levels that we haven't seen yet. So it's like most of the levels now. 
but still, like, you know, that was, what, treasure 49? Still only halfway. Alright, so there's gotta be something to ground pounding. Well, that probably, that probably highlights exactly what I needed to do. Oh, gosh, we need a trolley problem question with Warrior. <laughs> Everyone likes trolley sequences. Everyone likes absolute farty synths. That's kind of fun if you wanted to get the, the thing. That's some kind of crafty, like, <laughs> trolley sequence anyway. Well, that was really cool. I wish I had the key. They should really warn me before they keep doing this. What is... I, I assume I have an involved period when I break out of this. There we go. Alright, cool. So, go, go down here once I have the key. Until then. Um... See, that's that's where the gray key is. I don't think there was anything past there. The yarn, which is where I got the silver stuff, and that's why there's a silver coin there. Or is it gray? Is it just gray? It's not actually silver. There's nothing really too fancy over here, so uh, there's bound to be more. This area looks rather curious because it's just like I just sprint through everything, and then I ground pad through everything. And I've got to still yarn boy my way through this. I feel like I, I, like, I saw that and then I just went for the yarn immediately. Oh, dang it. This is some jamming music though, I'll tell you that. Gets you hyped, gets you pumped. That was exactly what I was looking for. I was like, hmm, where would the first bit of bit of a uh, key be? I asked. But did I see anything along the way? I don't know. Oh. You gotta yarn me up. Yarn me up, bro. That's it! Mythological beast I want to be is a mummy. Mummies are cool. They're rich. They curse people. They sleep all day. What's not to, to love, man? Mummies are where it's at. So yeah, aspire to be a mummy when you grow up. <laughs> Isn't there like actually like things you can get? I don't know if they're legit, probably not, but like, things you can get that are like, proper, like, sarcophagus, like, burial. I'm in my mid-twenties and I'm already talking about, like, being buried in a sarcophagus with all my best belongings. And I'll do it too. Here we go, crack it open. And what is in here? Ah uh, yes, my my best belonging, the sword. Again, I don't know if the sword does anything. And uh, this will be the last level for the day. I think this is also the last uh, chest here. So, okay. So again, like, did you like that by the way? That's pretty cool that you get this kind of move. So. Okay, where do I need to go? I can go in the sand. Which is kind of pointless, because I can't do anything in the sand. I know there's a day-night cycle, and I don't know if, like, this might be the first time where it's like the day-night cycle actually, like, kicks in. What? What, sorry, as in like the day-night cycle like properly kicks in, it's like you gotta do the day-night cycle. I'm 
thinking. I'm thinking it's probably not like. I don't know, is it actually? Like. I guess they're not grabbing in this direction, are they? I don't know, they're grabbing in all the directions. Why am I having trouble, like, going this way? I'm sick of myself, like. Maybe this isn't working out. Maybe I actually gotta go back at night. So, back to the map. Back to the map again. There we go. So these guys won't grab me. Don't grab me now. Uh, okay. Oh, this, this looks like where I gotta go. Thick blocks. Okay, so now we've got a whole area down here. There's a door. There's a light shining. Lots of lights. And now I'm a vampire. I want it to be a mummy, dang it! That should be a wonderful hint for a uh, potential future game to play. So, okay, so that door's out. Oh, there's a pipe here. Can I go down the pipe? Nope. This is fun, trying to deal with the diagonal flying. Alright, so that's the key. Maybe there's a door somewhere in this room you get to keep going through. Just leaning left. Okay. Pipe? This looks like a, a block, but... There's no... Oh, I guess you could keep going. Well, that's... <laughs> that's not what I was expecting. something here. Maybe this ground is destructible? Nope. Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah. Ah, okay. Alright, some blocks are okay, some are not. Cool. Appreciate it. I was just like, yeah, why, did, why am I breaking like that there? Well, I'm glad I just grabbed that. Alright, bounce me, brother. Go up, and that's not what I particularly wanted, but sure, okay. And then, ah, yes, that's gonna give me a, a key. Oh, sorry, I've already got the key. That's gonna give me the ability to land on the platform that I wanted to. There we go. Oh, the sniffles. How does, how does anyone get through anything without allergies? Oh my gosh, jeez. Now this makes sense. There we go. Oh! Uh-oh, it's a... Guy? He's definitely, he goes. Here we got a ground pound on Oh, I'm not happy about you ground pounding me, I'm not gonna spit stuff at you. Ah, he's giving me the poke. 
It's just no music. The game's just like, ah, yeah, you goofed it. The pipe makes a lot more sense now. Except it doesn't, because the pipe was above the door, but now the door is below the pipe. Okay, this is a horrendous pattern. Oh, you just- you fire Windows mouse cursors at me. Oh, I'm angry. Does that actually what hurts him? That doesn't look quite right. On that one. Oh, he gets bigger. Which I assume makes that jump a bit trickier each time. Oh no! Ah, oh, actually painful. Actual painful, right there. There we go. I didn't get stuck on a rabbit for ten minutes this time. Bit of a shame, but. By the way, I love how in my uh, attempt to set up my stream. Uh, kind of, well, set up again, I, uh, my inter my outro music didn't catch, get captured on, uh, either the stream or the VOD, so, it's edited in, in the VOD. Fun fact. I did it in post. But I think that's it for today's stream. That was a good amount of, uh, good amount of stuff. 51 treasures down, 49 to go, lots of stuff still left to uncover, and still some levels that you've yet to see yet, but... Until then, I think that's a good point to stop it. So with that, I would like to thank you so very much, very, 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 very much for watching. You, the viewer. If you enjoyed this, uh, you can just follow. That's really all you can do to support. You don't have to do anything too fancy. Uh, you can so follow on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, uh, stalk on Mastodon or Twitter or Plurova. It's taking place. Fediverse, just do that. Uh, You'll, you can, if I post fun things on that, then you'll see it. And if I don't post fun things, then you didn't lose anything to begin with. Unless you have a limit to the number of followers you can follow. Some of those sites, like, you, you can only have 500 friends on Facebook. It's like, it's the same kind of deal. It's kind of weird, so. Uh, but yeah. And uh, yeah, if you missed any part of this, just feel free to go back and watch the VOD. Uh, but yeah, no, things are... Uh pretty cool. I'm enjoying this game even more and more, and I'm so glad I played it ages ago and forgot everything about it. So, until then, stay safe, eat your greens, don't, like, sneeze out like I did. Jeez. Jeez. Oh my goodness. So, I have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye. That's a, wow, I should never do that again.